Welcome to What's the Deal with Sam? Starring Sam Willie. Join Sam as he discusses a wide variety of topics. Bagman. Now let's start the show. Thank you. What's the deal with playing card replacement guarantees? They're like... Hmm... It helps to think of these before I hit the record button. But I suppose they're like... Oh, I don't know... Pack of gum guarantee replacement pack of gum replacement guarantee pretend like I said it correctly and more quickly than that this episode should be somewhat smooth all right so you know like you, you know you get a pack of playing cards and and, 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 and oh uh, the last part was with the ground so they got these playing card pack things and you know you, you look in there there's all types of cards, usually the standard 52, plus you get, uh, usually get a couple jokers, two or four, it depends on your pack of cards, I believe, and usually some type of instructional card, and, uh, perhaps an informational card, or maybe those are the same card sometimes, it really depends on the pack, and the company the cards are made by, and, uh, I notice there's some with these informations that uh, cards on them where, where, where they'll tell you about you know if you lose any cards you can or missing a card or something you can get a replacement for it if you just mail that in to their company and they'll give you a new pack uh, for free I guess but you know why I mean it's just a pack of cards like they really need that guarantee. I mean, you don't need that. I mean, playing cards are, you know, pretty easy to find. And they're relatively cheap, unless you get, like, a custom pack. Then maybe you want to do it. But, you know, super expensive, crazy, limited edition, custom, hogwash, poppycock, bullfuck. And, like, you might as well just go out and buy another pack, because it'll be quicker and yeah, it'll cost a little more, but it's not like this always going to be an expensive pack of cards, so you shouldn't worry about it that much unless it happens very frequently. Then you might as well just mail into them. Um, but still, then you gotta wait. Uh, it's just a little ridiculous, I guess. And you know, there's kind of the counter argument. Yeah, well, it's nice that they'll give you that option. Yeah, it might be. Or it might just be them trying to sound like they're, you know, a nice company. It might just be bullshit. Who knows if you're actually going to get it because who the fuck actually sends that in? Um, I mean, if you do, tell me how that went in the comments. Please. Oh, please. Because I would like to know if that even does anything, if they still do that anymore. Or if anyone has really done that. And, you know, if they follow through on that well or anything. Um, and it's... It, it's just weird, I guess, to me, because I still don't know if it's a really nice gesture of them, if a bit silly, or just a stupid way to make them sound good because no one is really ever going to take them up on that offer when it's much more convenient to just go get another pack of cards. But, you know, what's the deal with that? It's like, it's like, it's like buying a pack of gum and having a replacement, uh, you know, when there's a guarantee or it says, oh, if you're missing a piece of gum from this pack, you can send in this this fake piece of gum with information printed on it, I guess, and we'll send you a brand new pack of gum for free. Uh, huh? Thanks? I can just buy another one. What's the deal with that? Say